Hi, in this video, I'm looking at this problem here where we're going to take samples of size 50. So we're going to have a sample size of 50 from a population that has a mean of 42 and a standard deviation of eight. And we want to determine using this information, the mean and standard deviation of the sampling distribution. So what this means is that we've got a population which is following some sort of distribution, we're not told. And we want to find this mean and standard deviation, the sampling distribution. Now, if your sample size is big enough and you take enough samples, your sampling distribution begins to approximate a normal distribution. And that normal distribution will have a mean and a standard deviation of its own. And that's what we want to find out. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at our numbers and we're going to work these out using a couple of simple rules. So when we're doing populations, we can have new, which is our population mean. And our mean in this case for our population is 42. So mu equals 42. We also have sigma, which is our population standard deviation and which in this case is eight because our population has a standard deviation of eight. We also have our sample size n, which is 50. And we want to work it out for the sample. So our sample mean, which is given the letter X bar, as we collect samples, if our sample size is big enough, our sample mean should actually approximate the population mean. So we actually expect our sample mean to be the same as our population mean. So we can expect our sample mean to also be 42. And if we have a look at our sample standard deviation, which is given the letter S, and it is worked out using the rule of the population standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. So our sample standard deviation is going to be in this case eight divided by the square root of our sample size 50. And so if we work that out, we get a sample standard deviation of 1.1314 and it goes on. And so now we can write our answer. The sample mean and standard deviation are expected to be about 42 and 1.13 and that's it. So. If you're going to take samples from a population and you know what the population mean and standard deviation are, we expect the population mean and the sample mean to be the same. And the standard deviation of the sample, the sample standard deviation is given by the population standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. And so that way we can work out our sample mean and standard deviation.